feel that burn? It's right here. You only got two more of these, okay? Two. And one. Great job, you guys. Okay, so take two and grab a trip. Sorry guys, I don't know what's going on with my internet. Word. Hi, I'm Alexandria. I'm a very hardworking and dedicated employee of KNG, and this is my bestie, Joe, also an employee of KNG. Slightly lower work standards, but still a great gal overall. No. <laughs> so, did Garrett put the technology for this together himself, or did he have his minions do it? Oh, he's got a whole tech department, so he probably didn't personally do it. Oh, that's my cue. You'll see you at lunch. So this one can sense someone's mood from that far away? Indeed, it bounces Wi-Fi radio waves off of people's bodies to measure their heart rate, among other biometrics, so then matches that to a likely mood profile. You guys are doing some crazy things with technology. Well, you gotta be a little crazy to stay ahead. So, I am about this close to sending my application to SheFit.com. Remember, it's the online blogging position with a fitness company? Yeah, so I've been uploading new content, trying to show versatility, that I'm not, you know, just a fitness instructor, but I actually can give insightful reviews. I mean, I think my stuff's been pretty good. Yeah, your stuff is great. I just don't know why you need to be messing with that right now, especially when you're gaining momentum with your online courses, you know? Why not wait till you have a bigger following? Whenever you're ready. So this is gonna be like, seven, five. Oh, nice. You can see she's a really consistent brand. Yep. I'm gonna message her and see if she'd be willing to meet with me. Give me some tips. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a Skype meeting with Miss Avery. It's a big door opener lady Ruth told me about, so I need you. Ah. Bye. Hi, Miss Avery. I'm Joe Kelly. I'm a personal trainer here in Denver, and Ruth had said that you were looking for a new personal trainer to assist you with your fitness goals. Yes. Ruth mentioned that she was following a brilliant online fitness instructor. I thought that we should have a chat. Tell me your name again. Joan, was it? Um, it's Joe, short for Joanna. Okay, Joanna. Your school at. Tell me about that. Um, well, I had taken some exercise science courses at the community college. I see. Where did you receive your certification to become a personal trainer? Um, I received my certification through okfitness.org. Just okay? Great. Do you have any expertise in Pilates or post-injury recovery? I had surgery on my shoulder recently and must take care not to re-injure myself. So after cutting me off again, she said, have a nice day, Joanna. 
This is beautiful. Here, let's make a little video for my page. Record. Record. Okay. It was working earlier. Record. Record. I'll reset the voice command. Piece of crap. Hey, at least the video feature's working. Really? I'll fix it for you. It's funny, right? <laughs> Piece of crap. is great. Thanks. Bye. Hello, Joe. How's my girl doing? I'm just checking in. I'm on my way over to the lodge for a few beers. Hey, you know, I was wondering, when are you going to bring Garrett around again? I've uh, met him, what, twice? Well, anyway, hope you decided to send in that fitness application. I know you were saying the deadline was today. Stop. All right, just seeing if you're paying attention. I only have one beer. Yes, I'm paying attention. Stop cheating. All right, all right. Let me see here. I don't think so. Not tonight, sucker. That's my girl. I like seeing that fight in you. You need more of that attitude in your life. Thank you. 
My man used to cheat on me all the time. <laughs> He's locked up now, so I don't have to worry about it. Honey, he doesn't deserve you. Thank you. you know, if people keep telling me that, it's just hard connecting it from here to here. And he hasn't even said a word to me since, so. <sighs> Look, I don't care what he looks like or what kind of fancy car he drives. But a man like that will only drag you down. And you can't have that. Cause you're going places, honey. For real? Oh. Did I ever tell you that you were my favorite client? <laughs> yeah, only when I'm sticking to my eating plan. <laughs> Guys, so for this next workout, I want you to lie down on your mats like this, have your legs open, comfortable distance apart, arms out and hands straight. What I want you to do is to pull yourself up using those core muscles. We're gonna come to about here and then slowly bring yourself back down, okay? I'm just gonna do 10 of these, all right? Let's go. One, two. If you're commenting, I know you're not working out, Calvin. Okay, so 30 second break and then we're gonna go at it again. Wow, um, I'm sorry you guys had to see that. I don't know who that person was, but they are blocked. Yay, okay. We're gonna go at it again. Hey, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, well, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to meet with me. Yeah. So, do you ever work out at the park? Mm. You want to post things that keep them inspired to come back for more. Most girls post themselves half naked, but I'd rather be taken seriously. You know what they say, only the strong survive. <laughs> Right. And remember, you have a lot more viewers than a lot of other trainers out there. I like your content. Nowadays, I barely have time to follow any fitness girls. Thank you so much. It's just, it gets so hard out there. You know, when some faceless troll starts commenting on my looks or randomly insulting me. Right? With every post, there's like five people that comment on my look, my form, and the worst can actually be other fit girls. Yeah. The fitness world can get real ugly when it comes to competition. Everyone's doing what they feel they need to do to stay ahead. Wow. I hadn't even thought about that. Well, you're lucky you haven't run into that yet. 
don't worry about it. Just know that it's all a part of the game. And when it does happen, don't take it personal. please. That's just so creepy. Do you think it's Garrett? It's crossed my mind. I mean, he's Mr. Techie Guy. And he still doesn't talk to you. That's weird. Trust me, he wouldn't waste his time. I don't know. Maybe it's random? It's not like you're the type that has enemies. There's email sent from your work out last night. What? There's a picture of you. You're like half naked in it. I mean, I could tell it's from a long time ago, but it was sent to everyone. Pull it up. Show it to me. Joe, <laughs> I need to see you in my office. Please return to your desk. You realize it was sent to the whole branch? Yes. Is that photo saved on your work computer? No. No, I, I think it's saved on my personal laptop. I don't, don't know how they... Jason, I am truly sorry that this happened. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I imagine it's pretty embarrassing. Look, when you show up on time and you're not yakking with Allie, you do good work. We just can't let this happen again. I suggest whatever this thing is, you figure it out because I can't cover for you again. You know, for what it's worth, I don't think you really have anything to be embarrassed about. It was artistic. Brent, yeah. I'm sure you mean well, but could you just not right now? Yeah, sure, I get it. Sorry. I don't even want to know what they said at that meeting. Well, Jason was the only one that talked. He explained to everybody what happened. And he also said he didn't want to hear anyone discussing it or it could be considered sexual harassment. Thank God he didn't fire me. Well, it's nice to see he has a heart. Do you want me to go with you to the police after work? Police? Yeah. But what are they gonna do? Joe, this person could have cost you your job. You at least had to file a report. This is getting scary. Hi, I'm Detective Joe Briggs. I'm Joe Kelly. Ooh, good name. How can I help you today? Um. I'm being harassed online. It started, I guess, about a week ago uh, with a direct message. And it wasn't like a typical hacking where someone spans all your friends. 
he was able to somehow access photos that were only saved on my personal laptop. He, so this is a male. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know who it is. Has there been any other harassment that's taken place? Yes. Um, today I got to work and found out that this person sent out an email from my work account sending a photo of myself that could have only been saved on my personal laptop to a large majority of my coworkers. Photo? What kind of photo? The kind you don't want your parents to see. Oh, and I'm sorry, um, my account was hacked again. This was before the work email, but after the direct message. Sorry. Uh, that's right. That. I'm tracking with you. Anything else happen? No. I mean, that's it. I just, when my work email got hacked, I could have got fired. Yeah. Most of the time, uh, the victim has a good idea as to who's doing this. And we are able to send a strong warning uh, before things get out of hand. Do you have any enemies? Well, I don't think so. I mean, I'm also a personal trainer and I teach online fitness classes and I can have well over 150 viewers at one time. So I, I mean, you can't take a look at my computer and see where it came from? I can't. And we don't have a digital forensics unit here at the station. Unfortunately, it would take a lot more than what you just told me to get the guys at the crime lab involved. Document and save everything. I'm hoping things don't get worse for you, but if they do, we'll need everything we can get to pin this person down. Okay. Thank you for your time. Hey, Joe. Nine times out of ten, someone you know. Guess who got an interview for that blogging position? You look gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> you have their own house. Don't be silly, Joe. <laughs> Do I know you? I'm Scott. You're Joe. I booked a date with you. You accepted. I'm here to come inside or take you out. Don't be like that. Oh! Get the hell out of here before I call the police. Listen, it's a complicated process. You want me to go pick up a guy that I don't even have a, a vehicle description for and charge him with what? I know the system, Joe. Yeah, I could throw him in jail for a night. Then he lawyers up and points right back to that escort site that you have your profile on. I didn't make that profile. You had said something about forensics. I mean, how severe do things need to be before they're going to help? 
we're not there yet. I think this is a guy, I don't know if he dumped him or broke his heart or never gave him the time of day, I don't know. But I do work a lot of domestic cases. And the one thing I can say is these men prey on women that, that want to avoid confrontation, that don't fight back. So what are you saying? I'm saying don't take any crap, like you did tonight. You need a guy in his nuts and you left, right? Okay, so you want me to go around kicking guys in the crotch that are mean to me? What I'm saying is don't take any crap, however you'd like to interpret that. blogging position? Yeah, thought I'd give it a try. You too? No, I'm interning here through the fall. Decided to go back to school and get my master's. Oh, wow. That is great, really. Thank you. Well, I won't keep you. It was great seeing you. Don't be nervous. They're great people here. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was that bad. Yeah. You know what? I don't go anywhere without this. Oh yeah. Mm. And don't worry about that letter between the supermarket, church, and the hair salon. I talk to most of the people in this neighborhood, all right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Things might be changing real soon, huh? What's that mean? Well, my husband, Lucas, looks like he's coming up for parole soon. It's got me nervous. Oh. He used to hit me from time to time. But this one night, it got really bad. Like worse than it ever was. He was out of control. And he wouldn't stop. One of the kids walked in. And they called the police. I'm so sorry, Chris. No, no. It got better after that. But was it possibly getting out soon? This cousin's been sending me his letters and... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So he's in the basement, hollering at me to turn off the shower. I can't hear anything he's saying, 
except for him screaming, Cheryl! So I'm screaming back, what? Obviously, I'm not about to have an entire conversation. Do you mind if we close these blinds? I prefer the light, but yeah, go ahead. Anyway, of course it doesn't come all the way upstairs now. Way too long. I get out of the shower. So he went. He finally found out. He's going to find some sort of cheat day or it's a cheat meal cow we're only talking about 500 calories over your maintenance i'm crushing your head right now Kickboxing after work. Yes? speak with Cheryl, please? Not right now. She's busy. Look, somebody has been hacking my account. I didn't post that comment about Cheryl. I think she looks amazing. Maybe sent her an email or something. Sir, Listen, my wife is in tears right now. You have no idea how hard she's been working at this. She's gonna need some time. Sorry, my office is right back over there. I, I must have eagle eyes because I could have swore it was you. You must. Yeah. How you been making out? Read this text. It was for a blogging position with this fitness company. It could have really just catapulted my career. Gone. Send me their contact information, and I want to take a look at that package. You think there might be some evidence there? Never know. 
you can get most of your information off of the internet removed. Uh, yeah, it's, it's easy, and there's a company that specializes in it. And they show you how to do it right there on their website. Thank you. You're welcome. I still want you to keep those wheels turning because I think it could be someone you know. Did you say you had a boyfriend? No. I mean, I don't. What about the last person you dated? Are you asking if it could be him? What kind of guy is he? He's the head of a tech startup company, but he is not the type, and he certainly doesn't care enough about me to do something like cyber stalking. Okay, well, I'll try to get that package over for evidence. Hopefully, we can give this case more resources. It's Joe Kelly. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about a really cool item. This is the second one that I purchased. So it's awesome. So this isn't helpful. Yeah, I mean, it's hard making out anything from that video other than another human being is in your home. We definitely have breaking and entering, though. So what does that mean for my case? It means your case will be getting a little more attention than it's already getting. We'll send this to forensics, get them to enhance it, and we'll see what we see. When did you and your ex break up again? I don't know. It was like... A little over a month and a half ago. Right when this first started happening. I, I don't mean to scare you, but maybe you need to open your eyes. I'd be more than happy to have a talk with him. than ever. Thank you. You look well, too. How are you? I'm okay. I just been dealing with a lot of stuff. How's business been going? Well, we're adding some features to our existing Moodweek products, you know, trying to make them a little more user-friendly. I'm glad you accepted my invitation to lunch. Hey, guys. Can I get you something to drink? Ladies first. Um, just Water with lemon for me, please. Water, no lemon. So tell me. Garrett, the reason I agreed to meet you for lunch was to bring up something I think you already know. What's that? For the past six weeks, my computer has been hacked. Posts sent out from my account, really embarrassing photo of myself sent to my coworkers. Strangers at my house. My home was broken into three days ago. Okay. I wish I was. And I would just really love to cut all of the bull crap and get down to it. Wait. You don't think this was me? You can't be serious. Do you know what a typical day looks like for me? I mean, it starts at 6.30 in the morning, and I work through to 8 o'clock most nights. You know this. Do you think I have time to, to what? Make your life miserable? Not to mention how I feel for you. About that night, I'm sorry for what you saw. For what I had done. You just left. 
I, I didn't know what to say. That's not the man I want to be, Joe. I haven't stopped thinking about that night or you since it happened. I'm really worried for you. Let me help. Save all the communications with this guy, everything, and send it to me. The police are handling it. The police have thousands of cases they're going over. This is my thing. I'll make sure my top tech guys are on it right away. Trust me, it's good. Between Garrett and police giving my case more attention, I just feel like I can breathe. You're not thinking about getting back together with Garrett, are you? No. Joe, he cheated on you. I'm only gonna ask once. Maybe if you're not doing anything tomorrow night, maybe you'd like to um, accompany me to eat some fine Italian cuisine and maybe a few glasses of red wine this year. Or you could have your own glass. Weren't you just telling me uh, that you're free tomorrow night? She'd love to. Mm. All right, guys. Go relax, you deserve it. I'll catch you next time. Low battery. Hello. Hey, beautiful. My guide's found something on your files. So far, it definitely looks like everything's coming from the same person. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, this is great. I mean, is there any way to narrow down, like, who or where? That's gonna take a little bit more time, but I did want to let you know what I found out. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. I can't even tell you how much this means to me. I want you back, Joe. Garrett, I'm just... I'm not in that place anymore. I understand. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Garrett. And after I uh, gave him the old and said sayonara. <laughs> did you really? Nah. Well, I did in my head, of course, but then I started K G three weeks later and got to meet the lovely Joe. It was like fate. I got an idea. Let's do that thing that people do with their glasses, you know? Here, pick up your glass. <laughs> Thanks. I always wanted to do that. No problem. You look beautiful. I already said that, didn't I? Yep. Few times. It's this hard being single, you know? It's hard meeting people. It's like everything about putting together a compatible relationship with someone is hard. You, know? you have to maintain that. And, you know, we all know the divorce statistics. I remember the day I first met you. You look so kind. You just, you have those kind of eyes. Next thing I know, I'm watching your workout videos and seeing what your life is like outside the freaking office. I feel like I probably know you a lot better than you think I do. But that's just my world, right? I mean, when you're in IT, all you need to know is online. It's like, you can actually make somebody pretty lazy, but infatuated at the same time. I'm feeling that wine, how about you? Yeah, yeah I am. Am I making sense, though? It's like you can feel closer to someone than you really are just because there's just so much accessible information out there. It's like being able to see them up close and personal all the time. Yeah, totally. Hey, Brent, I'm sorry. I have to pee like really bad, so I'm just going to go use the restrooms. Oh, let me go with you. Oh, no, it's OK. I'll be super fast.
You look awful. Donut. So, was it really that bad? I think it's Brent. What? The stalker. He got really drunk last night and just started talking about how well he knew me from watching me online. And he knows me better than I know. And he is seeing my life up close and personal. Oh my God. I don't even think he realized what he was saying. What did you say? Well, I said I had to pee and I took off and I came home. Oh, wow. Brent really is a creeper. What did the police say? <sighs> Trust me. It is not enough for them to do anything. This is very disappointing. Jason, please let me explain something. Please, just come to my office. Jason just told me, Joe, I would never do something right, like that to you. Please I, I'm just... sorry if anything I said freaked you out last night, okay? The wine was really oh, eating me. Okay, how you knew me so well from watching me online, and then today I find out you've been researching me, and then I get fired. Joe, please, no, that's. I'm not a person that would do something like that. Everybody knows I've had a crush on you since day one. Honestly, I just didn't always feel like I knew what to say around you, so I felt like I'd get to know you better. It's the only way I knew how the internet. That's what I was talking about, Joe. I actually got hacked too, if it helps. I'm sorry, Joe. I just, I didn't want you to leave without saying goodbye. I just think you're a wonderful person. Be safe and take care of yourself. Brent. You too. Why didn't you tell me about all this sooner? I didn't want you to worry. What can I do? Is there anything I can do? No. I'm just being here like you are right now. And this. You always loved the lake. I'll never forget this one time. You couldn't have been no more than seven, and you had just won the kids' division fishing tournament. A little caddy about maybe that big. You were all proud, and they gave you this little plastic trophy with a fish on it. And that one little red-headed boy, well, he took your trophy because he said his fish was bigger. You came to me, and I said, Go and get it back. Well, I see you walk up to him, and I see him shaking his head no. You had the calmest look on your face. You walked down to the shore where his tackle box was, and you chucked that thing into the water as hard as you could. <laughs> yeah. He was she. Got your trophy back, didn't you? Yeah. Yes, I did. See that?
What happened? Can I get your doctor? What happened? I wish you would have left. I'm your friend, Christina. I brought Lucas home two weeks ago. I don't know what I've done. Christina, I know someone at the police station. Okay? He can help you. No, honey, no. Listen to me. I made this bed. I don't want any police at this time. I gotta fix this. I gotta fix this on, on my own. How? <laughs> Here. Stand up. No. I want to show you something. What? You have missed our last two sessions, and I have something new to show you. Why? Stand up. Come here. Stand in front of me. We are broken. We have lost lives. We've been sleeping for the longest time. A sleep of the eternal. We are corpses in our own paradigms. So let's find the broken pieces and bring them back to life. No change won't come in a night. We must. Make the time Our eyes have been shattered Hearts dropped on the floor Fantastic. You up for some sparring action? I want to video us for a new intro to my channel that I might be doing. That or I can show my followers the new and talented Joe. Whatever you want. Cool. Grab some gloves. Should we turn off the lights? Nah. I want to keep them low for the lighting effect. That's okay. Shows more definition. Gotcha. You ready? Yeah. Bring it. Nice. I can tell you've been practicing. Everybody's doing what they feel they need to do to stay ahead. But it's all a part of the game. Joe, I thought we were just sparring. Strong survive.
those were some quick reflexes. I'm impressed. Don't go anywhere, I'm gonna go cool off. Where are you going? I just wanted to cool off. I'm sorry, I just, I feel really sick. Are you okay? It's not as clear as I'd hoped, but that's definitely a watch. I, I don't know what the red is, maybe reflection or something. Yeah, it's gotta be a watch. And I should tell you, my ex, the one with that startup company, he had his tech guys look at all the evidence and they actually found something. It's pointing to a woman I have recently been spending time with in the fitness industry. Whoa, wait, wait a second. You're telling me that now? What's her name? Dahlia. Dahlia Berry, I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. I'm gonna need your ex's mm -hmm. name and phone number, please. How's everything else been going? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this has been my life for the past two months. Thanks. So, yeah, give Garrett a call and tell him that you're handling the case for Joe Kelly. And, I mean, I think- I'm a detective. Right. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, I was thinking maybe we could have dinner sometime. Maybe this week. Yeah. We could discuss the case. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it wasn't long. <laughs> oh. How do you like the new brains to our mood read technology here? Hmm? All right, let's see what we got here. I think you're gonna be really happy with what we got so far. Granted, we just got started on it last week, but I think there is more than enough to... Uh... Hello? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just remember I have a, a training session. I have to be to like 15 minutes. Okay, you cancel your session? Hey, you know what? No, you go. I'm open later tonight if you want to relax. Well, this is awkward, isn't it, Joe? You're supposed to give me everything you had. Now we're in quite a predicament, aren't we? It's nice, isn't it? We were finally able to create a smartwatch with the mood read hardware. It's convenient. Rather than look at your phone, it just lights up the right color and gives you advice. This is our only prototype. You won't find another one like it anywhere. Hey, Joe. What's already happened to you? If you say anything to anyone, I won't let you know right now. Before will be nothing compared to the after. You're absolutely sure. This is the enhanced version of the intruder at my house. Garrett was wearing that watch. I saw it. I'm scared. Did you show the police? He threatened me that things were going to get a whole lot worse if I opened my mouth. So what options do I have? You've seen what he's capable of doing. I am a sitting duck if I stay here.
Joanna? Hi. We've never met. Um, I know my mother was taking personal training with you. I'm Gabrielle. Christina, your mom. She told me a lot about you. Yeah. She told me a lot about you, too. Did you teach her to fight? Fight? My father, he's... Um, he's in the hospital right now. She broke his jaw. Growing up, she... She never fought back. And I used to just watch him throw her around, you know? This time, she knew that he could kill her, but she hit him anyway. That means something that she wasn't gonna take it anymore. And in some really weird way, it's helped me find some peace. So thank you. You helped her find her strength, and I'm forever grateful. Thank you so much. Would you like for me to email that to you? Um, actually, would you mind just writing it down? Sure. Hey, Dad. All right, sir, I'm gonna go inside and take a quick look, make sure nothing's missing, okay? Oh, God. I'm fine. This is nothing. Who is here? I don't know. Got home from the lodge, and I had a few beers in me, and he must have been waiting because he followed me in when I unlocked the door. Sir, could I have you come inside and take a look with me? Sir, I don't know if any valuables were taken or anything, but uh, some of the drawers were tossed open. And uh, you can take a look. Let me know if anything looks like it's missing. You want to come back here and take a look? so much for agreeing to meet with me. Yeah, it's no problem. Um, so I tried to look up your sister's profile, but I, I didn't see anything. Well, you probably wouldn't find anything anywhere. She went off the map after Garrett. How long were they together? Um, I wouldn't even say a year. When she ended it, he was just relentless. You know, his ability to hack into things. That's why I wanted to meet with you in person. I won't do anything too serious online anymore. Yeah, I've had a crash course in what he's capable of doing. That bastard. And I'm guessing the police aren't able to help you. Well, I mean, it's definitely been a process. 
I can relate. How did your sister get it to stop? Um, my sister Bree committed suicide two and a half years ago. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. But he didn't stop. He didn't stop until she was dead. Shouldn't be standing by or being willing to die. Go in the battle with the honor of a samurai. Win or lose, it's obvious that I had to try. Live the life that only God or the inner life. Have solid experience and a very pleasant speaking voice. A lot of people don't realize it, but a friendly voice on the other end of the phone goes a long way. Oh, yes, I agree. The problem is this. I have a stalker, and um, I mean, there's no way I could prove it to you, but he has done everything to keep me from basically living. This would be the third time that he sabotaged my employment. A stalker, huh? Our CEO is my brother-in-law. He's a pain in the ass, but I have a lot of respect for him and the company. We get a lot of business because we've always made it one of our top priorities to be very careful about who we bring on our team. I'm sure you're a fantastic woman, and that's why this is happening to you. People who feed on control are always threatened by strength. I have some time before I have to fill this position. I don't know how you're gonna do it, but if we're gonna hire you, we can't have things like this popping up. Do you understand? Yes. Here's my card. Two weeks. Give me a call. Thank you. Be unpredictable. I'm sorry, what? Bullies like that. Know what to expect from you. Know where you are and what you're doing. Be unpredictable.
face like that. Know what to expect from you. Be unpredictable. I saw you staring at me, and I was just wondering if there was anything I could help you with. Oh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stare. Good. Uh, you're getting uh, a little hunger pains. Uh, yeah, are you guys that. thinking about maybe getting some to eat? Yeah, I heard about this great oyster bar in uh, Cherry Creek. Yeah, it's excellent. Just grab that off of Yelp. I'm gonna need to go back to my hotel for a bit. Okay, uh, go back get some rest and we'll meet Blue Island at 8 o'clock. See you then. Hi. Want a hot day tonight? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anything on your mind? Always. <laughs> you want to talk about it? Just want to have a good time and relax. Oh, we can do that. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna just run the restroom. He's already piquing your interest with some of his brand new toys. Did he tell you about his watch that can detect a person's mood? Oh, well, this isn't your special watch. We were just discussing our mobile technology. How about you get a drink at the bar and I'll meet up with you later? Oh, of course. But before I go, I just wanted to share my own thoughts on it. See, Gary here is such an incredibly intelligent, ingenious businessman, and it's actually quite funny. I've realized that his ability to outmaneuver some of the top CEOs in the world is because of this mood watch. See, when you have no emotional intelligence or ethics, it can be a lifesaver. Watch out for this one. We gotta go. What? I just ordered us some beer. Yeah, I ran into a girl that used to date my ex in the bed that was really awkward. So oh, come on. There's a place on Larimer yeah. I think you'll like. One, two.
didn't stop. He didn't stop until she was dead. Yes, you need to send someone to the gym at 9th and Santa Fe. to identify the suspect. That is, until she ran away from the man and into her gym where he attacked oh, her. God. You're really something else. You are too kind. You're my hero. Mine too. I have something to show you. Congratulations. I don't know how many fitness trainers can say they have 1.5 million followers overnight. <laughs> can I get you anything? Yeah. I'd kill for some good coffee. <laughs> you got it. Hello. Doc says you're gonna be all right. <clears throat> well, I think I'll go get that coffee now. I could use some coffee myself. I'll be right back. Hey, Joe. Hey, good to see you smiling. Listen, I, uh... I know you did what you thought you had to do. That was really stupid. I don't want to lecture. You're right, I'm sorry. Just seeing you lay there like that. I didn't know if you were gonna make it. Thought you didn't want me to take any crap. Joe Kelly training, this is Allie, how can I help you? This is Ms. Avery. Oh, hi, Ms. Avery. You know, Joe is really busy with a cover shoot right now. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, yes, I wanted to set up a session for next week. Oh. Okay. You know what? I'm not seeing anything for... Well, it's looking like a good eight months out. Nice work. Come take a look. Hey, I'm gonna go grab lunch.
things I need to get off my chest Not get held up at claims and business It starts with feet and then you lose your head And moves back down till it turns blue and red And you take 